in this video, we're going to continue working with editing text. And specifically, we're going to learn how to apply our text along a path. So to get started, I'm going to actually just create some new text. I'll select on the Edit Text tool and click to place a lettering prompt. And I'll just type in the word artistic. OK, and when I'm done, I'm just going to click on the Select tool and then click Off to let go. Now, Apply Path is about placing these letters along a different shape for the baseline. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my Create Ellipse tool to draw like a simple ellipse shape like this. And I want to fit artistic along this shape. So if, when I have the oval selected, I'm going to hold my Shift key down and click on artistic. And that way I select both objects. And when I have both objects selected, if I choose right click, I could choose apply path. And that's the sort of trick of it because it now sets the word artistic along a path that is bound by the shape of this oval. Now, I don't really have a lot of control over it with the selection tool. So what I need to do is I need to switch back to the edit text tool. And now I get different styles of, I guess, adjusting the placement of these letters. So first thing I could do is try to reverse the direction, which puts the letters on top of the shape as opposed to where they were originally kind of inside at the bottom of the shape. So we'll choose reverse direction. Now you can choose the alignment. Um, there's left, there's center, there's right. So you kind of get a combination of the reverse direction and the alignment. And you also get to choose where the baseline goes. So right now the letters are set along the baseline. I can choose the bottom of the letters. So that way if there were lowercase letters that went below like the letter Y, um, it would not be kind of inside of the shape. Um, and then of course you also have ac ascent and top. So four different levels in between the different types of placements and the different text alignments and the ability to reverse the direction, you can create mostly anything you want. Now you also need to use the offset. So notice my word artistic is sort of off to the left here and I wanted to maybe center it so I could choose to put in an offset. So let's try 100 and type enter and see it's moved it over, perhaps not enough. So I could type in you know, 200 and move it over some more. And so that looks good to me. But if you wanted to, you could get out some guidelines and measure it up, make sure it was perfect and nudge it to exactly the right amount. Now, once I'm done applying my text to a path, I can click back on the rectangle selection tool to sort of create it back to a just a normal object. And I can even select the oval that we created to draw that path and delete it. It's no longer needed. You see the word artistic has the shape of that oval as its its path or its baseline. So that's the technique. It's it's when you're selecting letters, it's the option to right click and choose apply path. And now, of course, because I have applied these letters along a path, I do have the ability to choose clear path, which would take them and put them back to a straight line again. So I'll go ahead and do that. So there you have it. So that's the option. It's click on your letters. Well, maybe we'll just put it apply. Do it again. Draw a shape. Select the letters and the shape at the same time. Right click and choose apply path. And if you want to get rid of it, you can right click again and clear the path. So that's it. Apply path and clear path is an interesting way to be able to place your lettering along almost any shape of baseline.